John Edwards, Green Line Tactical. Today we're gonna to talk about a shooting exercise. I don't like to call it a drill, I call it a shooting exercise because sometimes I think drills turn into parlor tricks. Yeah. And uh, it's one that I'm kind of known for. I kind of made up this specific version of a shooting on move drill and it's known as the Xbox drill. And I like getting this thing out here because some of you guys like to shoot it but you're not exactly sure if you're setting it up right or you think you're setting it up right and when i see your video on youtube i'm like that's not the xbox oh. <laughs> but, uh, so so cool we're going to explain it here and then john is going to shoot it probably a couple times till he gets it right and i'm going to go through how to properly set this thing up first for scoring it and running it to standard now bear in mind some of you guys have taken my classes or seen some videos of guys who've taken my classes and they're shooting on steel targets we do that a lot in, in large group environments because it's quicker than going forward and taping and, and counting scores and stuff like that. So I'll run it a little bit different in a class environment. And we also have to back up the shooting box so that it's safer, right? So if we're gonna shoot this to standard, if you look down range here, we have three targets. If you can tell, we had to staple the uh, Ipsic targets to uh, another backer, but those are one yard apart or one meter apart. The idea there is this, is set up very similar to a drill that a lot of people are um, used to called El Presidente, right? El Presidente is one yard between each target and the shooter's box for El Presidente is 10 yards from the target line. So this box is 10 yards from the target line. However, it is also 10 feet square. So one, 10, 10, it should be easy to remember. Um, so the front two cones are 10 yards from the targets and then the four cones are in a 10 foot square. That's how we set this up to standard. We'll go over scoring it after John shoots it. And, because I know you guys are gonna ask, and you're gonna ask in the comments, both of us are shooting our Battle Arms Development Workhorse uh, 10 and a half inch pistols with Roscoe barrels in them. Uh, we both have the rest of it kind of set up a little bit differently, but uh, for the most part, this is we have the same rifle. Same but different. Same but tweaked for our own personal um, way of of shooting i got a cmc trigger what he threw a geisley in, in there yeah so you know other than that guns 10.5 roscoe battle arms workhorse you start on the timer if you're shooting it to standard your time is your score plus any penalties you'll start at the first cone when the timer goes off you'll move forward from cone to cone engaging each one of those ipsic targets with two shots two shots only when you hit the front cone on the left side You'll turn right and continue shooting, two, two, two. When you get to the next cone, your finger goes off the trigger, weapon on safe, muzzle down. You turn and you move back up range to cone number three. From cone number three, you go at a 45 degree angle forward. So you're going diagonally towards the targets, two, two, two. Every time you do this, you're firing two rounds into the A zone of each one of those targets. When you get to that cone, finger off the trigger, muzzle down, weapon on safe, turn, come back to the start point, and you have one more run at a 45 degree angle forward. Two, 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 finger out the trigger, weapon on safe, muzzle down, the time ends right there. Then we'll move forward, we check hits. Anything in the A zone is zero added to your time. Anything in the C zone is 0.5 seconds added to your time. And anything in the D zone is 1.5 seconds added to your time. So as you can see here, you're penalized quite a bit for a major miss you might be able to move fast enough to make up a couple of thrown C shots, but not a bunch of D's. John ran this in 20.57 seconds. We're, we come up here, we count his misses. So he has one C zone hit, so that's minus a half second there. <laughs> All A zone hit, so no points off on the second target. And. I'd call oh no, you broke the line, so. Uh, I, see, rules say. All right, well, John. Rules say, rules say. All right, so John's saying. He doesn't want that to count, so we'll go with minus 0.5 on that. So he's one second down. 
one second down from 20.57 so 21.57 not bad especially for first run of the day yeah i'll Actually. take it i'll take it cold yeah me too